Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy and today we're going to take a look at the latest software update to Samsung One UI 6.0 with Android 14 and this is beta 6 right here on the Galaxy S23 series. Now I hope that this is almost finished because beta 6 is quite a few betas to go along with a update. Now with this one, it's also fairly large. Now I looked online to see if anybody noticed anything brand new. Nobody came up. They basically just came short of anything that just states right here, but the size here is 8 865 megabytes. Again, it ends with ZWJ6. And the only things that they state here is bugs that have been fixed. They improved touch sensibility, improved overall software stability, and many other improvements. Now, I believe, especially with this one right here, improved overall software stability, and it's being 865 megabytes. I feel like this, this one is probably the last one before the official launch is my guess, which is probably going to be either later this month in October or early November. Now, the cool thing is that the Galaxy Z Flip 5 and Fold 5 was just added into the mix to get the One UI 6.0 beta program. So if you own one of those two devices, the Flip 5 or Fold 5, you can go inside of your Samsung members application. You can sign up there, but that's actually tomorrow's video. So it's the very next upload after this one. Now, the last update that we had for the beta program was like 10 days ago, 11 days ago. It was on September 27th. I I believe this one is hopefully going to be the last one because when you take a look at the small details of what was fixed and it's fairly large, normally something small like that would be 300 or 400 megabytes. But again, we're going to take a look to see what we can find that is new. And then I'll come back with a future video if there is additional things that I find after this update is finished. But it's normally at this point in the video that I like to state that if you're brand new here at the Channel Jimmy's promo, you appreciate these tips, tricks, tutorials, and the latest information on your Samsung Galaxy devices. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications so you get notified for all future videos. So now that the update has finished, how about we go through a bunch of different Samsung applications and services to see which of these have newer versions. And then this way I can actually dive more deep to see if there's any newer features or different changes. So first off, when it comes down over inside of the camera, we're just going to take a look to see if there's a newer version here. Now, before the update, it was sitting at 14.00072. It is now at 14.00080. So there is a newer version of the Samsung camera. Now let's take a look at Samsung Gallery. So inside of here, before the update, it was 15.00029. It is now 15.00031. So a newer version of Samsung Gallery. Now let's take a look at Samsung Home. So before this update, this one was sitting at 15.00164. This one's now at 15.00184. So it looks like a newer version of Samsung Home. Now let's take a look inside of the Samsung folder over here. Let's take a look at Samsung Health. Now, again, one of the things I'm waiting for with this update is talking about changing the size of a serving cup of water. So this way, when you state that you drank one cup or two cup of water, it's either going to be at the six ounces, eight ounces, 10 ounces, whatever cup you use instead of the default at eight. So that is one thing that I'm waiting for. And it, it might have to be something where you have to wait for the watch to have a updated version of Samsung Health, because that was the last little notification I had stating that they had to revert to the last version of Samsung Health because the watch didn't have it just yet. Now, Samsung Health before this update was 6.25.0.0.5.1. So it looks as if it's the exact same version here. So Samsung Health did not change. Now let's take a look at Samsung My Files. So the My Files go inside of information. Now this version before the update was 15.0.0.0.4.9. It is now 15.0.0.0.5.3. So it looks like a newer version of Samsung My Files. Then let's take a look at Samsung Internet. And like I stated from before, this update is bigger than usual. Sometimes I don't even find newer versions, but here we are almost finding a newer version with every single one. Now, Internet used to be 22.069. It is now 22.0612. So, so newer version of Samsung Internet. And that was pretty much all that I wrote down to see what was what I wanted to check to see what was new. So I'm going to go through, play with all these applications that had changes. I'm also going to look on the internet, see if anybody else found anything at all as well. But here we are, latest version, Samsung One UI 6.0 with Android 14, beta 6 is now here. 
The other thing that you also want to take a look at is going to be the Galaxy Store. Sometimes there's brand new updates for applications that are showing up after you update a software version. So nothing in the line of Samsung applications. So that's pretty much it for today's video. I want to let you know that there is a beta six out. If you were having problems with beta five, then hopefully some of those problems have been fixed. It looks as if a really big stability fix was pushed off for you know the software version here. So again, take a look at this thing here. Improved uh, the overall software stability. That's a pretty big one. And then those many other improvements, those are all the other applications that we just got done taking a look at that pretty much almost all of them had newer versions. But that's today's video. Hopefully you guys appreciated it. If you liked it, give it a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.